Right, in this little lesson, we're going to be showing you how to add a user uh, onto the recorder. Uh, I've got a, a Dahua uh, NVR here. Uh, the same thing applies with the XVR and DVR range. Um, why might I want to add uh, a user? Um, sometimes uh, you need to add an extra user so that uh, maybe a keyboard can log into the recorder uh, so you can know who's been logging in. So let's just go ahead and work out how we do it. Uh, first things first, I'm on the local monitor. Uh, I'm going to right mouse click on the screen. I'm going to go into main menu. I'm going to log in. And then I'm going to go over to the account details. And you can see the admin users here already. Um, I can modify all the settings on the admin user here. For instance, I can add and remove uh, the unlock pattern here. So sometimes we do get the question, how can you add an unlock pattern? Uh, it's all under this section here. I can modify the admin user account. But what I want to do is to back out of there and I want to add a new user. And it's quite straightforward. Just click on add and give it a, a nice new name. I'm just going to type in keyboard, really, because that's what we might use it for. Um, and I'm going to press enter. And I'm just going to give it a nice new simple password called ADI. I want two, three, four, five. I'm going to, and it's to confirm that password over here, which is ADI. And then uh, if I need to put any remarks in a can, I can also check whether I need an admin or a, a normal user type. Depends what the user is going to do. For a keyboard, um, I might be inclined to just give him the ability uh, to just view live. May not want the keyboard user to be able to search through some old footage and then click OK on that. And that's me create a nice new keyboard user uh, and if I want to test it, it's fairly straightforward. You go over here to the login details and I can log out. You have to be very careful how you do it. And then I want to log back in again on here. Uh, but this time I'm going to have to switch user. And I'm going to have to switch user to the keyboard user. And he doesn't have a pattern, of course. So I'm going to have to enter in the nice new password. Let's go and check. Everything's OK with the user, and that's me logged in as a user, as you can see there. So it was fairly straightforward um, to log back in as the admin user, of course. Uh, I can go and enter my pattern, uh, but you may not want the admin user to do that. So uh, I kind of hope that helps. Um, I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.